Hey, what's going on? I'm Steve with McQueen Paint. I've seen some crazy videos of people mixing up body filler, and uh, sometimes it's a little too, they're mixing a little too hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually mix it the right way, and uh, kind of show you the different variances that you get when you do mix it wrong. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the things is people mixing on cardboard and using all kinds of crazy stuff to mix with and mix on. These boards, you can get them at the paint supply store. They're really cheap. You can use it over and over again. Same with your spreaders. Now, the body filler, when you first get this, you're gonna have a hardener. Now, some people think Bondo is the only, you know, they, they, when you think body filler, you're thinking Bondo. Well, Bondo is just a brand. And there's all different kinds of body fillers. And that's the correct term would just be body filler. The better kind of body fillers you get at paint supply stores, like this one, about 20 bucks, and then you get your blue hardener. Yeah, you could do the red hardener, that's what that Bondo brand has is red. Uh, this is what we mainly use in the shop is this blue hardener. Okay, when you first get it, the body filler, you want to mix it up because the resins will sit on top and you want to get the resins mixed in. Get however much you need, however big, your, how, how, whatever size your den is. Okay, so you can use your imagination a little bit because you got that big can of body filler to this one tube of hardener. Now if you mix this, if you don't put enough hardener, then it's going to take forever to dry. If you put too much, then it's going to create a lot of problems, uh, pinholes, uh, might crack out later, a um, couple of bad things that could happen. So I'll show you right now, just do, do the correct amount on this side and then this would be considered too much. And this is just to show you the color variations that you get. And when you're mixing this, you don't want to, don't want to stir it up like this because then you're going to create a lot of air pockets and those air pockets will be pinholes when you're done sanding it. The pinholes are just little tiny holes that you can't really see unless you get up close. Okay, so this is a good example of what it should look like. You're really going for a green color. It's more what you want to see. Now we'll mix up the one that's a little too much hardener and then you'll be able to see the difference just keep folding it over there's going to be all kinds of body fillers at the uh, paint supply store you can always ask those guys what they think the, the best kind is I like 3M 3M is good stuff. Okay, so you can see the different shades here. This is this is just way too much harder. Okay, now to clean it up, you're just gonna scrape it all with your spreader. It's not too dry. You can spray the lacquer thinner on there. It's a red scuff pad. And then you just kind of massage it. You don't you don't press hard. And you're just trying to loosen up all the body filler like magic. Start coming right off. Make sure you put on some gloves for this. Lacquer thinner. You don't want it going into your system. 
gets on your skin, it's in your body. Okay, let's follow that up with the towel. Get your nice clean spreader. And your nice clean filler board. That's it.